What up? Good morning. What up? What's in your cup? We ain't got a cup. I wish I had uh, some coffee right now. Always. Oh, guess what, though? We'll be having power, and then we don't have to run generators, and then we can just have coffee nonstop. On demand. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Go to your song books. I may or may not have a rap song about reading some books. And we may or may not have an idea for a shirt. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm glad you remembered that. I didn't. Okay. It's genius. Genius. It's genius, and we'll be doing it. It'll be a shirt that all y'all will want to wear. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you. At least the shirt that I want. Well, everything we make is what we want. Yeah. That's the way we do it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we have every piece of clothing we have ever sold mm -hmm. like actually of our own yeah. um i'm actually i'm wearing a someday under oh i'm wearing a juno oh would you not and a someday hoodie she loves you so much ma'am no and um, she just doesn't care about me no nope. you don't make eye contact uh but uh been getting things done around here now that the uh, weather is actually cooperating uh danielle is pretty much done with your training yeah um i have like two more shifts but those it's kind of rolled into your next schedule well those i'm really only doing because i'm already going to be there because i have to take classes yeah, why are you talking like this i don't know because <laughs> i have to do uh making a leader they're going to make a leader out of me who would have thunk it it better be like a liter of cola not a leader. A leader. A um, hard D. So realistically, I'm only my training's done. And I'm just gonna be there doing the classes. So after the class, I'm gonna pick up. You're done for this month. Yeah. And the next month, you're working four days. Yeah. So. Anyway, you training back says out I'm here. gonna be. Yeah, I'm gonna be by myself. Yeah. Running the show, it's kind of intimidating, but it's all right. You and got then. This. Uh, yeah, then back out here running this show. Not really. You're my stomach. I'm hungry. Yeah. Um, so, pretty much, we'll be able to uh, knock a lot more stuff out and then please, no more snow, more, no more sleep, no more any of that. At least for a while. Give us some time mm -hmm. to catch up. Um, I have been solo and uh, I feel like I did more work the last two days than I have in the last two weeks. Uh, you guys will be seeing that on the Crockers whenever that may come out uh, sometime soon. But um, it just feels good to be back. It feels mm -hmm. good to be... Uh, um, we're going to have a uh, more consistent schedule. Um, we had a very serious conversation this morning, and Danielle didn't <laughs> laugh not once. She was very serious the whole time. Um, if y'all want to know why we don't get stuff done, it's her. It's not me. Well, that's the face right there that uh, I, I was having a real good conversation to be like, you know, I think and she's just laughing the whole time. I'm like, this no, is why we don't get anything done. It's not laughing. I'm, I'm, I'm smile. I but smile. why? Because, baby, you're cute when you're serious. She said, you're being serious right now. I said, how can I be serious if you're over here just laughing and stuff? No, I just smile. And then it's not until you notice me smile and then you make eye contact and you're like, Ugh. and then I'm like, that's when I would laugh. That's why I can't get anything done. Um, it's but, just like, I just... Whenever you're in serious mode, it's cute. So I well, just be smiling. I'm just adoring you. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. And then, yeah. yeah. It's hard to get things done and be serious with her. Uh, but um, we are dialing in everything. We know. Trust me. <laughs> My stuff. <style. Pew! laughs> had that ricochet. <laughs> I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry too. Yeah. Um, we know that it's been a little chaotic on our channels. Um, we haven't. At all, not even the slightest. This last month was things organized. Well, it was the weather against us, and then my schedule. It truly. It's difficult doing it a hundred percent by myself. Mm -hmm. um, that's. I'm not saying you weren't out here at all doing anything, well, but as far as trying to keep content. I mean, I would be here like less than 24 hours. Well, yeah. In between, basically, so it's just really not. I don't know. Yeah, but a big goal of. 2024 and everyone knows january is a trial period you're just figuring it out um is to be more organized to be better to be on top of things to get things done and um i i 
was very um, discouraged with the weather, to say the least. I'm not built for this. Uh, still not built for it, and I, I probably know. will never be built for it. I don't know if you guys remember, uh, we talked about this on Coffee with the Crockers. I don't remember how long ago. <clears throat> I guess how many years ago. But Jason gets sad. Oh, I do. The seasonal depression whatever mm -hmm. it is seasonal affective disorder yeah that's me 100 percent. my baby gets the sads every winter I, I can't do it and so but we're making it through we yeah just you just gotta keep going i'll have my moments where i'm down but mm -hmm. um i'll figure it out down but not out that's right um but um you know the big goal is to to be more productive be more organized get things done and just all of that well over the last month it's been difficult and um with the weather and and the tractor not working and just all the things you being gone it's been i think the biggest thing was i being know gone. It, it just tears me up inside well it, may, it adds to the sad does it and that's why i'm still sane right now because <laughs> You weren't here laughing at me when I was going through my stuff. Babe. <laughs> so, the big goal uh -oh. is to... Don't look at her. To, um, starting no, February, we're trying to start now, but February, we're going to post Cough the Crockers consistently, and at 7 a.m., we're going to post um, the Crocker Life. We don't know the exact schedule, but it'll come out at 2 p.m., um and it'll probably be like a uh every other day top thing uh you know on the crocker life and then the crockers we're going to be posting once a month i mean one once a month <laughs> maybe uh we're gonna be posting once a week and we're gonna spend the time during the week just to get things done and uh focus more on getting everything done rather than trying to get a video done and i don't think people truly realize how much work it is just to put a video together especially when you're going and getting materials and you're trying to work out the problems that's going on and it, it as a content creator we know you don't make money unless you post videos and we also know you can't build a house every other day. Uh, you know, you gotta you gotta work a lot more and it can't be a day of building, a day of editing, a day of building. So um, it's been a very hard thing for me to um, swallow is care less about the video, how many videos you're putting out, care more about getting stuff done. Mm -hmm. uh, my job is a content creator that is my job my job isn't building my job isn't nope. uh doing any of that it's post videos um that are entertaining enough for people to watch well whenever it's beating me up every day to try to put out videos um it, it affects everything else so uh having the last two weeks of to not, reflect yeah i'm not doing anything and really trying to dial in oh see you're it, driving me crazy as girl. much as it sucked <laughs> Um, I love you. As much as it sucked um, not be able to get anything done, I was able to get a lot of stuff done behind the scenes and, and figure stuff out. So um, I'm thinking maybe uh, posting on Mondays. <clears throat> you know, I'm thinking. Does that work into your schedule? What smart ass thing you about to say? I'm thinking Mondays. Is okay. Good. So yeah. Monday, um, we're thinking maybe post Mondays, and then uh, go live on Wednesdays if we feel like going live that Wednesday. So it would still be two videos a week, uh, but it would actually show a lot more progress. It gives us more time to work rather than edit videos. And then uh, the Crocker Life is probably going to be like an opposite schedule since it'd be like Monday, Wednesday, and the Crocker is maybe like a – uh, a Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, you know, something like that. We'll we'll get it all figured out. Mm -hmm. But that way you actually know when we're posting videos and you have something, you know, nothing you have something to look forward to, maybe some of y'all, but you actually just know when we're actually posting. Half the time this last month, we didn't know when we were going to be post because it was me trying to do it, mm -hmm. trying, to, trying to cover all the everything and it, it just wasn't gonna happen yeah um, it just makes a difference whenever i'm not here you know yeah 
be getting on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, it, it does make a difference um, having you here and stuff, but uh, we are dialing it in. We're, we're, we're getting to where we need to be, and the beauty of all of it is is um, a lot of stress has been lifted off my shoulders. We know we're getting electric. Um, and my schedule is going to be here more. Yeah, your schedule. I don't know if that helps, but um, no, it is does. Is that your stomach? No, it's them chewing oh. on stuff. Oh. <laughs> I am hungry, but it ain't making gnawing on bone type noises. <laughs> um, so knowing that we're getting electric is a massive stress off my shoulders. Um, knowing that it's both of us doing everything around here um, and filming and, and editing and all that stuff mm -hmm. is, a, is a big thing off. Um, our very, very nice and very understanding friends, the Junos. Yes. Um, we had an opportunity um, presented to us that would take a big stress off of us um, of not having Lambo anymore. And we decided, no, we can do this. Uh, mm -hmm. We got this. We feel a lot better now. We have our, our schedules opened up. We're so close to having it to where we can get them back. Yeah. Um, and, and again, they are seriously the best. Yeah, they, they were like don't worry about it he's not hurting anything mm -hmm. he, he's perfectly fine here we know it's going to take a little bit longer we're fine so like that I mean, was my stomach yeah. um i mean that it's just like it's just a lot of stress off of our shoulders yeah. of one um you never want anything to get in the way of a friendship yeah. and as, as everybody freaking knows on here mm -hmm. having friendships with people especially friendships with people that also have youtube channels it gets very dicey yeah. and um this is the strangest thing I, I cannot believe it's even this way there are three channels that i deal with daily mm -hmm. or almost daily and it's coffee to cross i'm just kidding <laughs> it, <laughs> it's us we're the only people that can deal with this <laughs> yeah. it's the Junos, and I'm not talking about just watching. I'm talking about, like, everyday personal. We talk to them yeah. and stuff. Or at least not every day. It's, it's often. Mm -hmm. It's the Junos, it's Paragon, and it's um, SV Thunder Road, Brandon. Mm -hmm. And um, it's those people are the ones that have truly understood. If we don't text you back, it's not personal. Mm -hmm. If we say something, it's not personal. If, if, if you ask for help and we give you help, it's it's... It's personal, but don't take it per don't take it in the wrong way. If um, we do something, it's with out of the kindness of our heart, and they and they understand it. If just everything, it just it just works, and it makes sense. And and those people are the ones that understand things are coming from a good place, and it just works out. And it's hard to have friends when you are on youtube as well and have a personal friendship and mm -hmm. do things on youtube and, and 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 all that stuff it's very very difficult but to have those people in our life and that we could have that mm -hmm. it it's something i've never had yeah um, paragon's been around for a long time they're the ones that have been around the longest mm -hmm. um on youtube clearly brandon's been around Brand he's been around the longest friend wise but mm -hmm. To, it, it gets very dicey when it becomes when it comes on YouTube, and to have that, it takes a lot of stress off of my shoulders that I've dealt with for years. Mm -hmm. And um, it, I don't it's know, just like it just good people, but that um, they're like, but imperfect themselves. So it's oh yeah, they imperfect. Yeah, I don't know necessarily how they that understand is, but, it. Yeah, and yeah. It, there's no. Um, I don't we can know. All just roast each other. We understand at the end of the day, whatever is said is out of love, mm -hmm. and even the crap talking or uh, advice or whatever. And it's like, you know, um, it, it just feels good to have that. And we're not saying anything about um, this isn't post or like this isn't towards anybody else. We're not crap talking to anybody. No, we're just saying in general the we people that we, we love. have that we have it's helped take Jason saying that no I'm not <laughs> all I'm saying me Jason personally what is saying, it's helping uh it's helped the stress level come down mm -hmm. she's trying to say this is my way of saying I love these people yeah. and it's not <laughs> the way I say that I love these people is they still in my life that's it that's it I ain't ever gonna tell Maybe them say it. I ain't ever gonna no I will never Never admit that I like anybody, ever. I love you, but sometimes hey. I don't like you. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> what? You know you feel the same way about me. <laughs> yeah, the other day you dropped me crazy. Yeah, she literally said, most days you don't um, annoy you, but tell you really annoy me. So you get on my... But then what? Then I texted you and said, I'm sorry, I was cranky. Boom. That's how we work things out. Yeah. But I just had to say, I was like, you are driving me crazy. And I said, this. well, this weather is not letting me do anything and I don't know what to do. <laughs> I was like, oh. It's driving me crazy, so you're the one that's got to be punished. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. I don't remember what our conversation was, but I think... You were just, like, going and going and going, and I was just tired, and I was like, you're driving me crazy. Yeah, but, but you did apologize after for getting cranky. Yeah, I said, cranky. sorry if I was cranky. And I said, Bad baby, for better or for worse. Yeah. There's been multiple times we both text each other, um, you know, or even talked in person or whatever. It's just like, please just put up with me for the rest of our lives. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's certain things we both do, we both know that, hey, but <laughs> I always tell Danielle, I'm like, that's marriage shit. We ain't married yet. And I said, <laughs> yeah. we've been married since day one. I don't know what you're talking about. We've acted like it since day one. Everything, every aspect of our relationship yeah. has been this way. And um, <laughs> I think it truly comes down to, and, and I've thought about, we're going to be getting the podcast going and stuff. There's certain things I want to talk about. But, Are we going to talk about our relationship? Yeah, I think we need to. Uh, but... Um, one of the things that I think has made our relationship good and work and everything, and it's also the same, this has not been spoken with our friends or anything, but uh, I think the reason it works with them and stuff too is, um, one of the first things I ever told you was like, let's just be honest with each other. No BS, just straight to the point. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one of those where it's like no games, no, like, I forgot Quit the exact. playing games with my heart. Do you know that song? No. But at least people know we both suck at singing. It's not just me. Um, Backstreet Boys, so... How would I know that? You tell me you wasn't a fan? No. <laughs> um, but, uh... Um, I forgot what I was saying. I distracted you. Yeah, you did. Uh, but, anyways, it just helps everything. The whole situation, everything of having as much stress off of your shoulders as possible and um at the end of the day we're just happy and glad and thankful that we have who we have in our lives and uh there's things in um just my personal life that has gotten better um i don't think right now is the time to talk about it uh yeah. but it has gotten better and it helps any little piece of stress that you can take off your shoulders do it even like being hungry that sounded like an helps. airplane I could probably eat an airplane right now. Yeah. I'm hungry. This is how you know this is like early in the day for us. If we don't eat breakfast the moment we wake up, we are starving. Especially after drinking coffee. Yeah. Oh. The stomach um, is just like, I'm ready. Yeah. Um, but. Uh -oh. Here she comes. The thing that I hope um, we've conveyed, no man, is one, Lucy gets on our nerves. <laughs> but she's Would so you cute. Not? Look at her. No. Um, it's the paw. It's who you have in your life, who you surround yourself with. Just be real and honest yep. with whoever it is and try to get rid of the stressors you have in your life, no matter if it's a person, place, thing, or animal. Animal? No. Uh, whatever it may be, um, get rid of those things. It's not worth it. And then um, for people like us, we're definitely not like everybody. Um, our brains do not work the same. Try, try, try just to stay organized. Try to get things going. Try to come up with like a good schedule. We were even talking about this morning about even trying to work out, um, trying to eat better, trying to do stuff. But we have mm -hmm. to stay on this like set schedule or we'll fall off. I just have always been that way. Yeah. Like, is, my weight goes up and down. It's no secret. My stomach was is ground it? the whole time you're talking. Really? <laughs> yeah. Um, I still can wear my high school clothes. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> that sounds it's like an airplane. Not, it's just nonstop. <laughs> That's we crazy. gotta eat out of this. I'm hungry. Uh, but I just like to get back into yeah. my weight fluctuating, going back down. It's like yeah. I have to start working out, and then it like forces myself to be better. I well, guess. and I then don't know. and then also, it's just like to set the routine. You start. The big thing is if you start your day doing something you don't want to do, yes, then you're just you're already setting the tone for the day. You're Knock overcoming. The like, first thing you gotta do is don't get up and get on social media. 
because then you're going to be stuck on it. You're going to start looking at stuff. You'll start seeing things you don't want to see. Don't mm-hmm. turn the news on. Don't anything that could have something negative. Just don't. No, don't do it. Get up. Do something you don't want to do. Um, so you're just like setting the tone for the day. Whether I'm that's overcoming, I'm doing yeah. hard things. Whether by, that's working out, yeah. doing the dishes, mm-hmm. um, doing the lawn, folding the laundry, whatever it may be. It could be it, all sorts of things. Um, but if you just kind of knock that out, you feel accomplished. You feel good that you did it. You can mm-hmm. move forward. We are not gurus. We are not self-help <laughs> people. No. We are just going off of experience for ourselves and what keeps us going and motivated. Yeah. Um, but... Um, we're going to try to do that. We're going to try to really dial in what we're doing. We're trying to be the best version of ourselves we possibly can. And uh, at the end of the day, also, um, for the last two and a half years, three years, I know my stomach, um, that we've been together, uh, unfortunately, the things that have taken over have truly, fully taken over. And that's trying to build the life we want, trying to like physically build the life we want, trying to build our careers the, the most we can. And we have forgot to have fun. We forgot to take time to ourselves. And that's mm-hmm. something I think, if you guys are truly interested in who we are, and if you made it in 21 minutes of this video, <laughs> you probably are. Uh, I think the Crocker life is about to change. I think you guys are gonna see more than us just so feeding goats. What's been wrong in our relationship? The Crocker life? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, what, not having fun? Not, what are you saying? What's been wrong? Well, are you, you saying there's been wrong things with <laughs> well, our relationship? Been, <laughs> you said. I said in our you life. You said. Oh. Not in our relationship. I thought you were talking about our relationship. No, our lives and period. <laughs> Lucy, you, you're what's wrong with our relationship. I only got you because of Danielle. <sighs> and she loves you the most. She does. That's what's ruined the relationship more than anything. <laughs> it's jealousy on your part. <laughs> um, but anyways, we are truly trying to be the best version we can. Some days we will not be that. And uh, some days we will complain about the weather. Some days we will complain about um, certain things. But at the end of the day... Um, Every day we will complain about Lucy. That's the truth. I will for sure. <laughs> no. um, we won't get rid of her. We love her, but still here. Um, <laughs> we're just very, very fortunate that um, we have this platform, that we have you guys, that we have the opportunity to uh, live this lifestyle, and it's because of you guys. It's literally paid for because of you guys. It's literally freed up our time because of you guys. You're able mm-hmm. to – you quit your job because of this. Mm-hmm. Um, you had the opportunity to quit because you guys um, – you got a promotion and a raise because you were qualified and they didn't want to see you go. But we're also Mm -hmm. able to have it where you work, whatever the initials are, where you work four days a week uh, or a month. um, And you don't have to solely work, worry about working. So we are at the point where we have to enjoy what we're doing. If not, then what is the freaking point of working so hard? I mean, exactly. We've got to have fun. So I do think you guys will be seeing a lot more of that on uh, the Crocker life and hopefully see more. Oh, what's this guy telling? Oh, it's just a little side by side. Yeah, with like a old school <laughs> cover on it. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but I think you guys will be seeing a lot more of who we truly are and who we've wanted to be for a while. Stress free. Are you about to break free? We don't talk about that around here. Huh? We don't talk about that band around here. What band? You talking about Linkin Park? Oh, no. I was thinking the old school, like, I want to break free. You can't talk about old school stuff. I don't listen to that. I don't know that type it, of stuff. It's on, like, every commercial. I don't know. <laughs> I thought, I'm about to break. No. Um, <laughs> see, there's that stuffed animal thing that I don't know where it came from. It's a stuffed Mickey. Yeah. Um, anyways, I am freaking starving. We got to get something to eat. And, uh, mm-hmm. um, I have a notebook. I've been writing stuff down, jotting down. You've been journaling? No. Just my schedules and things that I think would be good. Um, we have to, uh, draw out the exact plan of the uh, barn 
the shop we're doing, um, the layout of this, all that stuff. I think this next month you guys are going to see just rocking and rolling. But Is Jason, why you do so many projects at once? Because that's how I work. It just makes sense. <laughs> and I think, Honestly, I think as well, we do it, it will 100% make sense. Yeah, got to let stuff dry especially yeah when you're working with like fence posts you if you're gonna be stretching fence long distance you want them corner posts to be set in the ground uh you want to build a barn you got to put your posts and let the cement cure before you start doing shit uh just <laughs> you, you always get mad whenever i say shit i know i'm not it's just like i try not to say it but it's just who i am i know it's just funny when it slips out on here yeah I don't care that I say it. I yeah. just attempt just, to not. Sometimes it just catches me off guard. Yeah, at least it's not the F word. Um, Doing good. Yeah, I got a the vocabulary of a of a uh, sailor. Mm -hmm. um, I try not to. I try my best, but we all got our imperfections. <laughs> Mine is my mouth and everything that comes out of it. I think people. Um, I, I try to work on that. I think people know that. What? What? You talking trash? No. All right, I got to eat. I'm freaking starving. I can't even think straight no more. So, appreciate you guys watching this far. Um, we are trying our absolute best. At least at minimum, starting February, we will be on a set schedule, and uh, it's going to help us stay Stick around. Will organized. we do it, or will we not? Just like our health journey. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. <laughs> you, buy, you guys have been along for the health journey for three years. Since the beginning. And uh, we're obviously doing really great. We could be doing a lot worse. I'll say we do stop ourselves. We do. Yeah, so I'm proud the of us. The other day he pulled in to the donut shop and I said, no. And then we drove off. Yeah. <laughs> you know how hard it is to say no? Yeah. But I and then she said, but you can go. We need to get off this right. But she said, but you can go in and get something. I said, how am I going to go in and get something and not get you something? I got, I'm not going to like eat a donut in front of you when you're like, I shouldn't be eating this. Well, and you're like, but that. you can. And I said, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, because I don't want to hold you back from what you want. But I'm not going to sit there and taunt you eating this donut. And you're yeah. like, I really wish I had that, but I'm not going to eat it. Well, I appreciate that. If you're trying to help your significant <laughs> other, you can't do the things that they're trying to stop. Yeah. You just can't. That's the worst thing you can possibly do is do something in feel, front of someone else. Yeah. Then it's like, I feel bad because I know you want the donut. But I'm trying to not. But so, at the end of the day, I'd rather us be healthy than eat that donut right then and there. You got to make sacrifices for the people you love. Baby, that's love. Yeah. All right, I'm tired. I'm hungry, and I'm getting um, a little burnt out of Danielle being a smart ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think I'm hangry right now. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Am I getting on your nerves? You've been on my nerves. <laughs>